Hi guys, and welcome back to Shadow of Mordor, played by me, Jobin, uh, from 530 Gamers. And this is recording right after the recording of the first one. That's why I'm still on the same pause screen here. Now these screens take a very long time to load, so bear with me. They're not that often in the game, but they do take a good minute to two minutes to load. Since the game is so big and it's an open world, um, it does take a while to load. There is some more loading after this, which is just going to be like for cutscenes, those aren't as long. So yeah, we're going to play some Shadow of Mordor today. Uh, and here we go, actually starting right now. And we're going to, uh, well, I'll start explaining the game after, you know, once I actually can. I'll show you guys the map and how everything works and uh, what our goals are going to be in the game. And how we level up and stuff like that. Uh, loading screens. They will be. I probably should have started recording after the loading screens. Probably would have made more sense. But eh, fuck it. YOLO, right? Come on. There we go. Okay. And I am gonna need to exit out of it. I'll show you guys the map after I can. I have to actually go do a little something more for fighting, and then I can. Show you guys the map and everything. Okay. Okay, so we have our weapons. We have a bow. We have a dagger. And we have our sword right here. And those are pretty much the primary weapons of the game. Uh, we do have some kind of... I'm not sure what they're called. They're kind of like... Yeah, like that. They're wrath, they're wrath moves, which are kind of magi esque I guess. I don't want to get in trouble for saying that, but th that's what I see them as. And let's just shank you to death. Oh, and this game is very very graphic by the way so yeah if you don't like seeing I think it's green or black blood then you may want to stop watching here and we can drain people and get their get my arrows back boom we got a cutscenes coming up of course Okay, so these are all capped. Uh, I'll ex I'll explain it later on. Let me just skip all this. Come on. Uh, blah blah blah. Start the missions. Okay, so now I can show you guys the map and everything. Missions, yep, yep, yep. Okay, so this is right here. This is where we started. That was we're on top of that. Uh, this is the Forge Tower. We were on top of it earlier. These are pretty much where we can fast travel to, and if we die, we're going to respawn to the closest one. Um, those are just located all over the map, as you guys can see here. We have to go to them to unlock them, 
and then we have this little blue thing's me right here next to me is this little symbol I'm not even gonna pronounce it but uh, there they give a little background story the little green things are Intel this is an artifact a little background story um, these gold ones right here are missions main missions actually so that will get us farther in the storyline and these white ones right here are just kind of like side missions that we can do and what I can show you guys is this okay so we learned Intel on this rather handsome fellow right here and we know where his location is missions that are going to involve him that gold one right there and stuff like that so all these guys down here these three rows are captains just like him different levels and but they're all captains you guys can see his power is uh, three right there and we can gain intel to learn like their weaknesses and stuff like that and then up here we have at th I can't even highlight them but at the top row there those uh, five orcs or orcs um, those are war chiefs in there we can't highlight them because we're not gonna see them until we get farther in the in the missions in the main missions and yeah that's pretty much the map and here we have runes which is pretty much uh, stuff we can put on our swords and our bow and our daggers to give them a little buffs like this one is never surrenders you gain additional last chance to return to the fray in battle against Urgs, and we get to like get runes from uh, killing killing bosses or not bosses uh, captains and war chiefs I mean, there's better ones and there's worse ones and there's different levels of them and stuff like that so yeah let's just uh, get on to let's get to that mission that gold mission over there and start playing right Hmm. I just killed a spider. What? Hunter challenge. Okay, now we're going to have to sneak around here. Yeah, so this game is also kind of you. It's helpful to be stealthy. You don't have to be, but uh, it makes it a little easier if you are able to stay stealthy and not get surrounded by a mass of people. Because each captain has a pretty much an army that if you don't if you aren't too stealthy you're gonna alert them all and then you have like a giant horde of orcs to kill while still killing the captain which is kinda like a mini boss so yeah this is one of those load screens that is gonna show a cutscene so or start a mission um, nothing we can really do but sit through them I'm not sure if it's my computer or there it is. Oh yeah, and that that elf guy right there is actually another uh as you guys probably already know from the story, but he's another guy that has been uh, banned from death, quote unquote, by the Black Hand, and we're trying to work together to kill the Black Hand, or whatever we have to do to the Black Hand to, I guess, die happily. Okay, so. Okay, you see those yellow. Oh, crap. Okay, yeah, right there. The yellow arrows indicate an Uruk investigating disturbance, and a red one is an Uruk that is aware of me. So, someone's, two people are aware, now everyone's aware of me, so that's bad. So, I wasn't so sneaky this time. Um, now that's going to make this a little more difficult, because they're going to call him back up, and I can't really stealth kill these guys like I usually would. Okay, he's dead. So, I'm just trying to do the little bonus mission real quick, because you do get extra points for doing that. Look, these guys haven't even noticed me yet, but I'm gonna go for the ranger. Because literally, rangers are the freaking worst. They will just keep stunning you and keep pushing you in corners until you die. Uh, I can kill this guy with my bow. Okay, and here is our captain. My god, he's ugly. Today. 
So, yeah, here come all those little people. Luckily, I was able to get him down a little bit before the rest of his uh, Urks came. But if you can kill him fast enough, then you can... Uh, well, as soon as you kill him, pretty much... Oh, crap. Pretty much everyone runs away because they're afraid of you because you killed their captain, I guess. It is kind of hard right now since I have such low health. I don't want to take any hits. Oh, and there are... Um, oh, fuck. And there are ways to increase your health and stuff like that. The left, the bar on the left there is my health. And the bar on the right of my little mini-map on the bottom left of the screen is my focus, which lets me kind of do slow-mo and stuff like that. I should probably focus on a battle rather than talking. Okay, he's on the ground. He's on the ground. Oh, fuck. Um, so, like I was saying, the bar under the white bar is how many shots I have in my bow, which isn't too many as you can tell. So I need to kind of make those count and make sure that they're headshots or else they're kind of useless. Ooh, good counter. Now let's just focus on this guy and take him out. And every once in a while, counter those guys and push him back. Wrath, so we can stun him and we just kind of, ah, oh, ruined my, <sighs> he ruined my little uh, chain move there, but you know, he's almost dead. Let's just do a shot in the head, slow him down, and when, and when they're on the ground like that and they have those little stars on top of their head, that means I can grab them and do some type of a uh, move like this, or, yep, and kill him right there. And then watch, this guy will just run away, and all the slaves will be free after this, and, oh, and here we go. Okay, so this is a rune, which is one of the runes that we can get, um... I'm killing a captain. This is a gold one, so that means it's really supposed to be something good. It's an epic. Recover all focus and health for killing a captain. So we can put that on if we wanted to. And that goes on our dagger. Boom. Okay. And here we have up. Oh, no, no. Hit upgrades. Upgrades, this is what I was talking about earlier. We can upgrade. Uh, well, these are abilities, so we'll talk about that in a bit. Right here. Uh, health and arrows and focus and how many runes we can have on our weapons. And I'll uh, show you abilities. Abilities is just special things you can do with like a combination of uh, buttons. We have execution, might as well get. I mean, we have the points. And cutscene. And there's Gollum, actually, from the Hobbit movies and uh, Lord of the Ring movies. Or Schmeagol, whichever one you want to go call him by. I can't remember if he actually plays like a big role. I know there's a couple missions that he's in. So, let's just... Okay. Okay, let's just get out of that. And, uh... I guess that's where we're going to end episode 2 of uh, Let's Play with Jay, Shadow of Mordor. So I will see you guys next time for episode 3. This is Jobin from 530 Gamers signing off.